Present television. We are everywhere. The immediate past governor of River State, Y. Somwiki, has revealed how he was poisoned by some persons at his party secretariat in 2018 and how God helped him to survive the ordeal. He made the revelation while speaking at his family Thanksgiving service on Sunday. We can recall that in 2018, he suffered liver and kidney failure as diagnosed in hospital in Beirut, Lebanon after the poison intake. He said in December 2018, he was supposed to attend the Thanksgiving of his former chief of staff, Chief Emi Kawoke. However, he couldn't because he was incapacitated after being poisoned. According to him, through divine providence, the situation that would have been a disastrous one was miraculously turned around by God, who immediately began to restore his failed organs. I will give three instances why we need to thank God. One in your office, so many people think, as governor, everything is going on well with you. Nobody wants to find out the problems you are facing as a human being. December 2018, that day was the day my former chief of staff was going to have Thanksgiving. And I was to attend that Thanksgiving on a Sunday. From that Sunday, I never came out, I never came down from my room. It was bad. There are words I don't want to use so that it don't look somehow. But those who attended the January 1st state banquet of 2019, we know that I never spoke that day. I just sat down there and I told my deputy governor to speak on my behalf. People didn't know what was going on. After that banquet, 12 midnight, I was taken out of the country because I thought it was over. When we go to Beirut, the doctors looked at me and I was looking at them. They were not telling me anything. They just said, look, we have to do so many tests. I'm just not talking. They came by the next morning and said, look, it was bad. My kidney had gone. My liver had gone. And they were looking at me. I don't know who told okay Wale that it was my wife who told okay Wale in our court. He said, look, what is going on? I said, what did you hear? He said, the way my wife spoke to him, is everything okay? I said, of course, everything is uh, okay. But of course, the President Governor of the United States was also in the known. And I never knew that I've been poisoned in our campaign secretary. My Texas all black. So the doctors did everything they could do. The next day they came back. They said, What is happening to you? that everything is turning around. I said, how? He said, look, my liver is functioning now. My kidney is uh, functioning. I said, but you've not done so much treatment. Well, I just kept quiet. And the glory of God, after about one week, he said, look, I can now go. I came back to Nigeria to start the campaign when I was going through my presidential uh, primaries. <sighs> my wife called me from London. She said, look, she has been diagnosed of cancer. I said, what do you mean, the cancer? I dropped my, my phone. I called 
my G5 members who are supporting me, and I call the governor, look, there's a problem. I don't think I will continue with this uh, race. So I called my wife back. She said, no, continue, nothing will uh, happen. I told her, okay. We started, started, started. On the day after that primaries, or in the night of that primaries, I went with my wife to Abuja. From nowhere, she was told that fire has got her house, her, her, her room. From where? They had to call the fire service. Everything a woman should own was burnt. Up to today, we have not repaired that room. Everything was burnt. And nobody knew. I just kept quiet. That's why I say some people, you don't even ask me what I'm passing uh, through. You only want me to give you, give you, give you. You don't know inside me, I'm already dying. You know? So I was just careful. And you know when they say that you are diagnosed with cancer, you know what it is? You know what it is? Those who have experience will tell you. And like it is for me, I handed everything to God. And being a very strong woman, she never showed it. But I thank God today, to the glory of God, my wife is healed and healthy. You see? So when people, like I always say, when people text me, my mother is in the hospital, my father is in the hospital, as if should I text back? Now look, oh, my wife is also not uh, well. But I just, just get quiet. That is one incident that I said, God, you have saved me in everything, but this one, you've done it all. This is for my wife's life, and how will I have done at this age? Me, I'm not a very careful person taking care of children now. And if anything has happened, you can imagine the effect it will have on my children. I thank God that today my wife is uh, alive. Not just alive, very much alive. I thank God Almighty. Then, the last one. Of, as we finished our primaries, my wife went to Lagos to bring my daughter. We landed at the Air Force Base. I was waiting. I said, okay, let me go to the Air Force Base. So when they land, I just enter the plane and go to Lagos. 15 minutes of takeoff. I went with Olaka Wogu and, uh, and um, uh, Marcos Nage. Three of us. And somebody was waiting for me in Lagos. I must see that night. 15 minutes of takeoff. What do we have? Boom! The air hostess was running. I said, what is the problem? They said, that's problem, that's problem. I said, what is the problem? I had to rush to the cockpit. The door locked. Nobody to communicate. So, ah, what is going on? She now ran back and came back to us. One engine is gone. And the pilot said, look, it's safer for us to turn back. Because still far going to Lagos. So can I come back to Port Harcourt? So three of us we are looking at each other. And the last thing Alaka said that day, hey, I've not told my wife anything. <laughs> so so we are just looking at ourselves. So he I said. I said, well, there's nothing anybody can do now. So, um, by the grace of God, before we landed, we saw so many ambulances, fire, uh, fire service uh, trucks lined up. I didn't know that the pilot has communicated to them to say, look, there's a serious uh, problem. But to the glory of God, we landed uh, 
Stephanie. Present television. We are everywhere.